But he's very old. Yeah. Right. Down. Yeah. Down yeah. this. Yeah. So he says he's, he's moving. Uh, do you know if there has been an accident? Over. I do think that some people have the need, including myself, sometimes to face danger that makes you afraid, to truly appreciate life and every breath you take. And sometimes that means going to dangerous places. Not a death wish, but it certainly is a close encounter with life. After one and a half hour, we have our first puncture. Uh, this is Pakistan. <laughs> I didn't think that I would take my return to K2 as calm as I did. I thought that would, it would be a storm of emotions, but it was peaceful. I mean, I'm not superstitious or so, I'm not saying that, but I actually had a conversation with K2 and it was this warm feeling, Fred, it's okay. You're invited, it's up to you. If you want to climb, fine. And that welcoming feeling was probably the best part in returning to K2 this year. Good? Good. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Please, you have to take a picture. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> it's insane! What do you call the snowman? Yeah, we call him the snowman. The reason why I go back to K-Tube is because I haven't climbed it. Very simple. Some journalists ask me, why do you want to return? Well, it's unfinished business. I don't think I can lay this aside before I've summited, coming back down. And where I feel that I've summited in a way that makes me proud. And that is not by pulling fixed ropes, using oxygen or something like that on an established route. That is by taking a team of fantastic people that I respect and who I know is qualified and we do it together as a team, as brothers. I didn't take the invite. Uh, there were too many rock falls, there was too much avalanches and I was completely alone during the last episode of the expedition because everyone abandoned their summit attempts and went home. So going up alone requires quite a bit of risk exposure and I was not prepared to take that risk. So this is a uh, beautiful summit weather. There's some people who think that when I left K2 for the second time, spending one year in preparations and so much money and Oh gosh, so much time and efforts to pull this through. They thought that I would just fuck you K2 and uh, I will never return. But there was no blaming game. 
There was nothing. There was actually a gratitude. It was uh, thankfulness in the air. I was honestly and deeply thankful for giving a second try. When I left, I just looked at K2 and I said, well, mate, see you next year. It was like talking to an old friend. If I fail a third time, I have to go back a fourth time. And uh, perhaps I should fail a third time or a fourth time just to show everyone that Sisyphus, who pulled up the rock to the top of the mountain, he fell down and he pulled up the rock again. You know, some exercises don't necessarily need an outcome. It's just the process sometimes that it's worth way lot more.